Hi, welcome back to Humble Homemaking. This video is going to be about the safety as a woman. Sometimes we are not always able to go out with our husbands. We are not always able to have somebody with us. And the truth is that women are more vulnerable than men because we are physically weaker than men biologically. So this means that predators, evil people in the world, are going to look for the most, most vulnerable and attack. And I don't care what your perspective is. If you think that we should be able to walk around in La La Land and not be touched, I agree too. But unfortunately, this is the real world and this world is full of evil. And no matter how many laws, no matter how many protests, no matter how many angry women there are, there's still going to be evil people in this world. This is a video that I wanted to talk about for a while that gives tips on how to be safe, be on alert, and just be aware of your surroundings. So without further ado, let's get started. So some of these might be a little obvious, but some women need reminding. So the first one is, and I know we've all heard this on social media, never grab anything off of your windshield until you drive away. Do not stand there and pick something off and look at it and read it. Even if it's just something innocent, you wanna be safe rather than sorry. I'll say that again in a few times in this video. The next one is obvious, but you know, we are women and we think with our emotions and sometimes if we see somebody on the side of the road, we just wanna do a good deed for somebody, but not everybody, including other women, have our best interests at heart. Never pick up a stranger or a hitchhiker. That one's just so obvious. I don't care who it is standing on the side of the road. I'm not going to pick up anybody on the side of the road. If I see somebody on the side of the road that truly needs help, I'm going to call the police and ask them to assist the person standing on the side of the road. I live in the country where there's a lot of travelers and there are a lot of people that are on the side of the road with their thumbs up. Some look sketchy, some look innocent. I'm not picking up any of them. And that's just how it's gonna go. The next one is about parking. When you're parking in a parking lot, always aim to park near handicap spots or near the cart returns because you will know that nobody will ever be on one side of your vehicle so that you, you will have one whole side where there's no cars, whether it's the cart return that's next to you or whether it's a handicap spot, which rarely those get filled up and those usually have a little bit more space and room in between them anyways. If you do see something kind of sketchy on your driver's side, you can just walk around to your passenger side where the cart return is or the handicap spot is and get into your car and climb over the seat. Another thing with parking lots is if you can, try and pull into the space so that if there's like, if these are the two spaces and you're pulling in here so that you could technically reverse, but there's no car here, I would say pull into this front spot so that if anything were to happen, you can pull out of your parking spot a lot easier than having to back up. I know some women like to purposely park far in parking lots. Park as close to the doors as you can. The less walking that you have to do from the store doors to the car, the better. Now, if something seems a little off when you get out to the parking lot and you get to your car and you just don't trust the situation or it's just something is a little off, something is a little weird, you can always go back into the store and ask an employee to walk you out to your car and they will more than likely send a manager out with you or if they have security guards, a security guard with you. So don't be afraid to do that. I've had to do it once or twice. You can also call the police if you need to. If you feel like something is just weird and you're just getting that those feelings that something is off, you can always call the police and go back into the store, call the police, and you know, just don't take your chances. If you really truly feel like something is off, don't take your chances. When you are getting into your car, always make sure that you lock your doors. Lock your doors when you get in your car. Don't just sit there with the car doors unlocked, lock them. Never just sit there in your car when you get out from a store, leave right away. Don't just sit there and fiddle with your phone. Don't sit there and take Snapchats and selfies in the parking lot. Don't do it, just go home. And before you get into your car, I know this might seem a little paranoid to some, but look in your car. Maybe look and make sure that nobody's in your car. Maybe look and make sure that the car doors doesn't don't look like they were messed with or anything like that. Just check those things. Now, this next one, depending on the country you live in, 
carry a weapon. I live in America where our second amendment right is the right to bear arms. If you live in America and you have the right to bear arms, bear arms, especially as a woman. I, I feel like the one of the most empowering things for women is the right to be able to defend ourselves with weapons. So I recommend you go and take a gun safety course and get a permit to carry a concealed weapon because you never know when that might come in handy. You could save your own life, you might be able to save somebody else's life, so do that. Gun is always going to be more powerful than pepper spray, a stun gun, knife, a weapon keychain, bear spray, or even hairspray. I've heard girls are carrying around hairspray. I don't wanna have to get that close to an attacker to have to use a knife, but I do carry one because knives come in handy for all sorts of other safety things. And obviously I would use my knife if I had to, but I prefer a gun over a knife in regards to personal safety and defense. The next one, which I've seen so many women post videos on Instagram, talking and walking through the parking lots on their phone, do not walk through the parking lot on your phone. So if somebody evil, if somebody bad is trying to harm you or trying to look for the most vulnerable person, they're going to look for somebody that's distracted. That's a distraction. Being on your phone is a, dis is a distraction. Now I'm not saying you shouldn't hold your phone in your hand, but make sure that you are alert and aware of your surroundings, even if it's daylight. I don't care if it's nighttime or daytime. Make sure that you are not just walking around the parking lots on your phone. Also, what if somebody's not paying attention to driving and they hit you because you're not paying attention to walking and you walk right into the car's path? So do not walk around the parking lots on your phone. Next one is if you get to your car and you feel like something is off, if you have a hatchback or if you have the ability to climb through your trunk and get to your driver's seat that way, do it. I don't care how silly it looks. I'd rather be safe than sorry. I've had to climb through the hatchback of my Jeep before because just something just felt off. I was always on high alert when I went grocery shopping by myself. And I climbed through the hatchback more than once. I'd rather look stupid and climb through my hatchback over the seats to my driver's seat than get into the driver's seat and possibly get grabbed. So if you notice something and you just, and you have the opportunity to be able to climb through your hatchback, putting away groceries or putting bags into your trunk, do it. Do not go to bars or clubs alone and if possible avoid them altogether. It is just not a safe scene. Have a buddy system with your friends. If you do want to go to a bar, have a buddy system. Do not take drinks from anybody including other women. Do not go to the bathroom alone. Do not go home with a man alone. If you are a friend and one of your girlfriends wants to go home with a man alone, do not let her. I don't care how much she says she likes the guy or whatever don't let her go because that's just if you're a good friend you will not let your friend go home with a guy no matter how nice he is or how much she likes him just don't let her do it because mistakes can happen so just have a buddy system with friends and always have one friend who is designated to not drink to basically be the babysitter alcohol decreases your ability to think clearly so if you have one friend or two friends that are designated babysitters then do that but I would recommend just minimizing your drinking altogether. Know your limits or just don't drink at all. Just don't drink at all. Let someone know where you are going and when you are returning. So if you are going to a grocery store, tell your husband, hey, I'm going grocery shopping right now. I should be back at blah, 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 blah. Because if God forbid something happens and you don't return at that time, you can at least figure things out a lot sooner than when cases like that normally happen. So always use your best judgment and be proactive with your surroundings. And also a reminder that women can be predators too. For example, there are known cases of women going around and pretending to be part of religious organizations so that they can get women's phone numbers and later track them so that they can kidnap them to sex traffic them or do God knows what. I've actually watched a YouTube video on here. It was a young woman and her friend at a bar and a, an older woman came and started talking and trying to get to know them and asking them a lot of personal questions and trying to follow tried to follow them up to their room and it was just a really weird a really weird situation it started to get really weird vibes from it and later they found out that she was actually a wanted criminal so just be aware of your surroundings so just be cautious use your best judgment be proactive 
Don't open yourself up to potential danger and don't just think that women, men are the only predators because women can definitely be predators as well. They just do it a different way. They lure women in for the men. So be cautious, be aware. I will link that video that I'm talking about down below. If you did like this video, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, subscribe, and of course, share this video with all of your female friends. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you next time.